So hello guys, my name is Sola and today I'll be telling you about the ability and the damage of three swords. Three very good options for beginner swords are the aspect of the end, the golem sword, and the endstone sword. I'll be telling you about the ability of these swords, their damage, and the final conclusion about which sword is the best. I'll be using a coding program to automatically calculate your damage with the information given. If you want to watch that, click right there. Scenarios are the base stats you have before you actually obtain the sword. I'll be using three scenarios in this video. Sometimes, the sword that does the most damage changes as the base stat changes, which is why I'm including three scenarios. I'll also include the first strike enchantment in this video. I won't be giving the aspect of the end the strong armor buff, or the warped reforge buff, because that would not be fair to the other swords, and you also definitely wouldn't be able to get either of those when you just started the game. In the previous video, I told you about exactly how to get these swords, a general price for them, and also my recommendation on how to get them. If you want to watch that video, click right there. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's get started! I'll start by telling you the sword's ability and how useful I think they are. The aspect of the end's ability is teleportation. This is insanely useful and will always be useful even for end game players. Using only 50 mana, you teleport 8 blocks and gain plus 50 speed for 3 seconds. So if you use 100 mana, which are your base stats, you can teleport 16 blocks and be 100% faster for 3 seconds. The Golem Sword's ability isn't that useful. It does 250 magic damage to all enemies in hexagon around you. Even in early game, however, you should be able to do 4000 damage if not more. 4000 damage is so much better than 250 damage so I can't really see it being useful in early game. It's also not really worth it late game either because its intelligence scaling is only 0.1. If you don't know what intelligence scaling is, it's how much more magic damage you do as you get more intelligence. 0.1 is really small compared to some other swords so it really isn't that useful. The endstone sword's ability is also pretty bad but it can have its uses. The endstone sword's ability is that you use up all your mana and you get resistance for 5 seconds and do more damage on your next hit if it's within 5 seconds. It's pretty bad since 500 mana is definitely not worth being invincible for only 5 seconds and doing only double the damage in most scenarios. If you're fighting an insanely high damage boss in dungeons or you're fighting the magma cube which does a lot of damage but it can be one shot or any glass cannon it can actually be pretty useful. Okay I'll tell you about the stats these swords have and then I'll get into the three scenarios and exactly how much damage these swords do a bit later on. The aspect of the end does 100 damage and has 100 strength and is rare. The golem sword has 80 damage, 125 strength and 25 defense and is rare. The end stone sword has 120 damage, 80 strength and is epic. You can see that it's not easy to determine which one does the most damage. That's why I'll use the coding program to calculate your average damage with multiple scenarios. The first scenario has stats focused on critical hits, the second scenario has stats based on strength, and the third is in the middle and has a bit better stats than the two scenarios before. Let's get started! The first scenario is 200 strength, 250% crit damage, 70% crit chance, the sharp reforge, sharpness 5, critical 5, and the combat level 15. The aspect to the end does 7,253 damage. The golden sword does 7,000 damage. The endstone sword does 8,005 damage. The second scenario is 300 strength, 200% crit damage, 65% crit chance, sharp reforge, sharpness 5, critical 5, and the combat level 15. The aspect of the end does 8,675 damage. The golem sword does 8,366 damage. The end sword does 9,618 damage. The third scenario is 350 strength, 300% crit damage, 80% crit chance, sharp reforge, sharpness 5, critical 5, combat level 20. The aspect of the end does 15,255 damage. The golem sword does 14,729 damage. 
Crystal Sword does 16,805 damage. In conclusion, and Crystal Sword is the best sword for early game players. It's by far the cheapest in the auction, and it also does the most damage of these two. The Golem Sword has 25 defense, which is pretty useful, but it doesn't make up for its high cost and also its low damage. The Aspect of the End ability is useful even for end game players, but it isn't that useful for early game players and the Rogue Sword will almost always be better. The End Stun Sword is by far the cheapest, does the most damage, and has an okay ability. The End Stun Sword wins! Okay, so thank you for watching, and if you found this video useful,